All right, we are transferring this onto the stairs. Voila! <laughs> Hi there, we're Matt and Stacy. We recently bought an off-grid property in beautiful West Virginia. We've been busy making this property our own little slice of paradise, adding in a few modern conveniences, having fun learning all of the construction trades, and converting a pole barn into our future home. This channel is about my passion for painting with a torch and wax, and about our passion for adventure and taking risks. Consider subscribing and join this creative community. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video. It's painting day. Aren't you excited? I am. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. We're getting ready to paint the stairs, or at least the inside of these boxes. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes? Those are not OSHA approved shoes. Oh no, I have the safety socks on. <laughs> so it makes the shoes safer. <laughs> okay. Catching holes first. Sanding time now. We need lights in the boxes. Oh wait, I have an idea. Make it bright. I start thinking really hard. I'm thinking. Oh, oh! I think I came up with an idea. <laughs> oh dear. That's me. One coat, or rather a couple coats of one color done on the stairs. I don't know how to hold the camera. And Matt is going to work on painting another color, a different color, while I draw out the stairs for a whole nother painting extravaganza. A whole nother painting day, most likely. So let's see what color we've got for the other part of the stairs. It's this color. <laughs> is that what you wanted? That is correct. It is that color. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Big reveal. Ooh. 
It's blue. The blue actually matches our island there. Don't mind the hanging cord hanging down there. It's a bit of a disaster around here, but that's the blue. So we're bringing the blue in the kitchen into the stair area. Concentration here. We're just painting the backs of these. So. So I'll be here all day, folks. <laughs> is done. How many more to go? 19? 19. 19 more to go. And in the meantime, over here, I have one line drawn. What have you been doing? <laughs> it's going quickly around here. Very quickly. finished up painting those boxes and I finished up a very 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 rough sketch um, I think maybe you can kind of see the vision here but um, we're gonna continue on with it we're calling it quits for the evening but I will probably pick you guys back up um, next weekend hopefully when we get back to working on these the stair treads the hickory stair treads are still on order so we're waiting for those to come in but in the meantime we're obviously trying to finish up this painting job so that when they come in we can tack them down and everything will be ready to go and then we can start using the stairs which is kind of a crazy concept and in case you're wondering why the sketch the plan is to do a mural on the front of these stairs so uh yeah <laughs> we'll see how that goes and if it actually happens but that is the plan as of right now and we will see you next weekend for you guys it'll just be a few quick seconds hello in the studio obviously but i'm not going to be painting for studio stacy instead i'm going to be painting a personal kind of project for the barn dominium it's been a while since i've picked up the camera for this project but we're getting back to this stair project today and my goal is to finish kind of this sketch out i think i left you there last time i hope i left you there last time <laughs> like i said it's been a, a week or so at any rate finish the sketch and pick out some colors to paint the sketch with and then paint the stairs with However, you guys probably remember, if you've been here a little while, I gave a bunch of my acrylic paint away, thinking I would never use it again. I did keep some, but I have to figure out what colors I have, and fingers crossed, I'm going to be able to mix the colors that I want to mix for this scene. 
I've also cleared a space on this big worktop here. <laughs> that over there looks like a hot mess, other than the painting. The painting's not a hot mess. But I've got lots of um, junk piled up over there. Not junk, but, you know, art supplies and griddles and such um, so that I can work on this space. Eventually, I think I might take that painting there and hang it up somewhere in our pole barn now that the pole barn has uh, climate control and things like that in it just to get it off of my work spy spaces but that's not happening for this video at least I don't think it's going to okay here is the one tub of acrylic paint that I kept kept some of my all-time favorite colors and I'm really hoping that I can mix the colors that I'm kind of envisioning for this painting out of these paints. So um, let's sort through and see what we got here. All right, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the supplies that I have out just in case you have any questions about it. And then I'm going to try to swatch a bunch of colors out and see what I can come up with for this sketch. I should also say I have not painted in acrylic in um, many a year, so, so uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, up first I have this color mixing guide, which it's going to glare the second I put this down. But um, it basically has um, basically has colors going up this direction and colors coming down this way, and so you know if you want to make say this particular color you just follow it over and follow it down and yeah I'm really sorry about that glare I can't do too much about it but um, if you're an artist and you don't have one of these it's really pretty handy to have then I also have a uh, palette paper pad out this is what I'm going to mix the paint on here and I have, because there's no water in the studio, I have my um, rinsing water jug out here. Then along with that, I have various colors of purple, blues, yellows, and oranges. And then back here I have some titanium white paint. And I have it in both heavy body and fluid paint. So... Let's get to trying to come up with a palette. based on these cards and I've opened up the blue paint from um, the, the stair boxes and the blue paint that matches our island. I'm going to see what I can do with blues next. This is what I'm going to work with. Two yellows, two like orangey colors, a couple purples, and then the blue paint that we have, and uh, Payne's gray, and a white. And I think this should, in theory, work out. I'm not completely convinced on the yellows, but those are the only yellows that I have. Um, the other yellows are too brown. So I think this will work. I'm hoping it'll work. <laughs> and I'm also not completely convinced on the purples, but I think it'll work too, hopefully.
think this is a pretty good uh, preliminary sketch to get us going on painting the stairs. Um, I think it's going to work out pretty well. I think the bottom is a little too dark, so I'm going to not go so dark on the bottom and actually go a shade lighter on the very top mountain. Um, let me flip the camera around. I'll show you. So down here, I think is a little too dark because once you put that onto the stairs, I think it's going to darken the whole area. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think we're going to start with this color down here and then this very top mountain peak will be almost white, just a tiny bit, a shade of blue. And then um, up here, this I tried to add in some pink and it, it didn't look good so I went over it. So this isn't going to be quite as brown colored, <laughs> it's going to be more purples and yellows than that. And I think I would bring in some of this blue down into this purple color as well. Um, but it's a really pretty good start, I think. So now we transfer it onto the stairs um, and fingers crossed, this is the only little bit of orange that I have. We don't run out of orange. Um, I can always go get more, but I'm hoping to finish it up um, this weekend. And this comes from an art supply store, which is not around here. So um, we'll see that art supply store is like a good uh, hour and a half-ish or so away. So fingers crossed we won't run out of any of these paint colors. And um, yeah, that it will look nice on the stairs. And you know, it's only paint. We can always just paint over it whatever other color we might want. All right, we are transferring this onto the stairs. Voila! <laughs> and because I used this scale, um, architectural scale, I can measure over, we can measure up. It's not going to be an exact science, but um, because we'll probably tweak things a little bit as we go. But like, for example, this tree happens to be about two inches over in real scale time, <laughs> however you want to say that, from the stairs. So we know we need to come over two inches on that stair to draw the tree all the way up. Hopefully that makes some sense. These are just going to be pretty rough and then they're just painting them anyway. I thought I'd actually go over the ledge here because put black on there. It'll hide that whole seam. Makes sense. Drawing the trees in here. Drawing the trees in. I think you can kind of see that, but we've taken and drawn on the stairs and we are now, I think, ready to paint. Slightly nerve-wracking, but at the same time, if it doesn't work out, we'll just paint over it. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to be opening up some paint now. One color of blue down. And the second color going in. Going on? <laughs> I think going on. Hard to see in these little corner areas, but. Not a problem. I think we're pretty excited.
get this expert artiste up there. Go again. Blending colors and everything. It's a pro. Could only take it so far folks I'm pretty decent at painting solid colors and even that little blend there but we've really called in the experts now for the final touches wonder who it is oh I see he did great guys he doesn't give himself enough credit getting there. Good morning. I will flip the camera around and show you where we left off, but basically we got all of the mountain areas done and the sunrise, sunset, depending on who you ask. So today the plan is to get the trees painted. It's a sunset. Nobody wakes up for sunrises. <laughs> I think it's a sunrise. Let's get the tape. I get up for sunrises. Anyways, we're going to get to taping and uh, painting some trees. One tree trunk is done. Now we have to peel the tape. And um, fingers crossed it doesn't mess up the paint that we already have down by peeling off this tape. So um, you're going to find out with us here. Never was a drummer. It's not nerve wracking at all. It's not taking the other paint off. Not the cleanest line I've ever seen, which is why I hate this tape. But, but it seems to have worked, I think. Trees aren't perfectly straight anyways. They don't have perfectly clean lines, so. Mm, I think they do. <laughs> Trees are perfect. <laughs> Inclusive, all access behind the scenes of Studio Stacy. I have the camera again. <laughs> Trees are coming in nicely. What do you know? Stacy's painting trees. Ready, guys? The grand revealing. One, two, three. Wow. Or should I say, whoa. Wow. waiting on the hickory treads for those so they're not quite complete but I will be picking the camera back up whenever we get those hickory treads in I don't know if it'll be next week or the week after they're you know still at the wood shop 
making them. So um, we're patiently waiting for them. But um, I will pick you back up when we get those treads and complete the final project here. But for today, this is it. Good morning all. Now, I know I said yesterday that I was going to pick you back up when we were going to be putting on the wood stair treads. However, I just called the uh, woodworking company that's making those hickory treads for us and we are still about two jobs out for them, which is probably at least two weeks for us. So in order to release this video in a kind of timely fashion, if you will, you're gonna have to wait for the next one, for the next Barn Dominium video, or maybe even two Barn Dominium videos for us putting on those stair treads. But um, I know we're both really excited to get these stairs done and I don't wanna drag it out, but we don't have much of a choice in the matter. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, get you a couple close-ups of the painted stair treads and um, yeah, we'll pick you back up on the next one. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. It truly, truly, truly does help me out. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing so because that also really helps me out, guys. I'm so close to hitting that kind of monetization mark, if you will. And um, yeah, all of those comments, all of the likes, all of the subscriptions or the subscribers, you all help me out so very much and I'm truly, truly grateful. So thank you. Thank you for following along and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.